Welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some elf ramp. That's right, we are going to try to generate a ton of mana and play some really big things. That's what we're trying to do here. Um, as you can see, we have our, our normal elf creatures, uh, including a couple that are really more aggressive than Rampy with Steel Leaf Champion and Elvis, Elvish Clan Caller. But if we're, if we're going big, we also want to be able to have that option of attacking and everything. Uh, as far as the, the new cards, though, with War of the Spark that help set this up, we have three Nissa who shake the world that have all of our forests tap for an additional green mana for us. Um, yeah, King J, that works just fine. I got you. I got you tomorrow. Um, and, you know, we can make some... Make some uh, lands and turn some lands into creatures if we need to uh not not the biggest deal there we just want to get a lot of mana because then with what's the best things we do with a lot of mana of course hydroid crisis we know how this is just one of the very best cards when you have lots of mana in standard uh, it's been a, a staple in the format fixture of the format ever since it was printed and then we also have this new green finale this is going to be my first time playing the green finale this is hawkeye by the way if you don't know hawkeye he's the best Hey, Riot Vale. Um, so this is search your library and graveyard for a creature card with CMC X or less. Put it onto the battlefield. Then shuffle your library. So early in the game, if we need to, we can like spend three mana for a land war elf. Or we can spend four and go grab a growth chamber guardian that can start getting us some card advantage with that. Or we can go grab a clan caller or a steel leaf champion uh, if we need some other threats like that. But then, really, what we want to do is have be able to save this for X to be ten or more. So we want to really cast this for twelve mana, <laughs> if if we want or if we can, because then all of our creatures get get uh, plus X plus X, which is you know like if it's ten plus ten plus ten and and gain haste until end of turn. So just basically ends the game on the spot. Uh, also have three Ugin the Ineffable. So this is a donation deck, uh, as you can see over here with the DD. This is a donation deck of like play a deck with Ugin's kind of thing and kind of go from there. And I wanted to see how Ugin would work out in this shell. So like we can we can make a lot of mana, but this deck doesn't have very good interaction. Um, and so like Ugin is something that is a pretty powerful card, but it costs a lot of mana, you know, costing six mana. But this gives like mono green, like removal for, you know, basically any permanent that's, you know, any colors. That's basically all the permanent. So uh, we get to destroy a lot of different permanents with Ugin here. Um, and then also, you know, we can go wide with it, with our army um, as well with the tick up. So kind of excited to play some Ug some Ugins in here. Uh, this is our first time trying this deck out. We'll see how it goes. And yeah, let's get to some games. Elf Ramp. So you're thinking that Simic midrange you've been playing is pretty top tier. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I like it. Um, I don't... I don't know about, like, top tier. It's just... It's hard to say. Uh, but I certainly like that deck. <laughs> Only the one island. I really wish it had some better interaction than what it does. Yeah, I'll take this Incubation Druid. Have that on turn two on the play. Absolutely. Oh yeah, this is this is Mono Green Crisis, basically. Basically. But this has more... More than just green cards in the sideboard, though. You know, we got, like, Negates and all that kind of stuff. Damn. Mono White Crisis. Well, we got Mono White Angels up next. I would not like to attack. I will choose not to attack. Down, down, down. 
Kinjali Sunwing. That's not card you see too often. We look like we're playing a little bit more of a beginner deck here. Stone Quarry, Kinjali Sunwing. Our first round in this um, traditional constructed event. These Steel Leaf Champions will probably end the game pretty quickly. Because even though they're just 5 4s right now, ugh, next turn they can be 6 5s with the help of Clan Caller. Down to three. Trying to decide whether to build Abzan Citadel or Grixis Control. Uh, I think if you want to go with a fun factor, probably Abzan Citadel. Grixis Control is a you know much more grindy, methodical deck that you know you try to wear down your opponent and everything each game. But Abzan Citadel can just do some really crazy stuff. That uh, just makes you chuckle. Yeah, the the deck list that I have, the last, the one that I have here on Stream Deck, or the last one without Zen Citadel, certainly reasonable. Yep, it's a good one. Um, we didn't get to do any kind of cool rampy stuff that game, but maybe we will this game. Love it. Turn to Marwyn. This is what I'm talking about. This is an Elf Ramp hand. This is a good one. No. The lightning strike. Ooh. This card gets crazy. So every elf that enters on the battlefield would get 1-1 one, one counters on it. So it gets to grow pretty big pretty quickly. And um, it can add mana equal to its power also. So like playing a land war elf is actually just free mana because it costs one, but it, we're going to add an extra one with the Marwyn. Uh, Clan Caller also free mana because it costs two, but then it pumps up the Marwyn too. Uh, so this is... Well, let's go. Let's go. These two play the Growth Chamber Guardian. Make that five. Activate. Play a new Growth Chamber Guardian. So now next turn we're going to have six plus, and then seven, then eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're going to have twelve mana next turn. Krasis for ten. No, don't take the Marwin. Marwin. Well, I guess we can just go wide with a bunch of growth chamber guardians, I suppose. Nothing wrong with that either. Yeah, or we could just we could just activate clan caller and grab another one of those next turn too.
mean, it's just lethal. We'll just attack for lethal. Okay. We did our elf thing. Show you the synergy and power of the elves. So picked up the first one. We'll see how we do with our next match. All right, Incubation Druids help us ramp out this Ugin. It's not... It's not like a Marwin. We're not Marwin ramping over here. <laughs> that clan caller was clandestined. Um... Certainly playing this, and yeah, we'll play this too. Because I want to play that Druid, because now next turn we can have six mana, and we can play Ugin next turn. Get the sabotage out of their hands so that Ugin's not countered. Because if it's like Wilderness Reclamation this next turn that untaps their lands, I don't want them to have the Sinister Sabotage also. Do not defy the designs of an Elvis. Your past is unwritten. That worked. And that's what Ugin does. It gives us good removal in green. Yeah, we went from a starter deck to a tier one deck. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's move this back up a little bit. Yeah. Oh no. Not another one of those. Okay. Secrets mm. manifest before you. All right, they're almost dead. Let's see what they got. Just three cards. Thankfully, they really haven't had like card draw stuff too much yet. Now, just two cards. Yeah, they could definitely win from here. It's certainly possible. But. No, like, chemistry's insights or anything like that so far. Hmm. 
They're keeping these cards on top with Escanto, which is a bad sign for us. Only two cards left. Okay, that last... We still have our opponent dead, depending on what that last card is. If it's a blink. It's a blink! Alright. Alright. Let's see. Let's get Crushing Canopies, Harpooners, not Harpooners, wrong ones, Rex Ages. Rex Ages and Canopies and all these Negates and Disdainful Stroke. Um, I guess we don't really need Finale of Devastation. Well, Finale of Devastation is like 5 mana Rex Ages. Yeah, I guess 5 mana Rex Ages are fine. What don't we need in this deck now? Maybe no Growth Chamber Guardian? Hmm. So we could take out like Clan Caller. No, definitely want Marwin. I guess two steel leaves. Maybe we're going too much interaction and not not clock enough, but keeping the Ugans. I mean, Steel Leaf just gives us a clock, which is pretty nice, but it's not its not spectacular. So I'd, I'd love the Double Wreck Sage and the Steel Leaf with it. So hoping to draw Land War off there. Yeah, Wilderness Reclamation just saying untap basic lands, that would... That would have made a little bit more sense. Because green has like a lot of things that like, you know, search out basic lands and care about basic lands. I could see that. That seems like it would that'd make some sense. Get out of here. Marwin or Steel Leaf? I don't know. It's like, you know, do we want Clock or Mana? Yeah, you know, Marwin's not going to do anything later. And it's better if we play it early.
Yeah, we played a deck called Selesnya Titans. Uh, Titans, because there's the Titan cycle back in M11 that was a bunch of 6-6s, six and that's what our deck played was a bunch of 6-6s. Six we had Nullhide Ferox, Oketra, Tulsimer. Witness the ties that bind us all. Dostal getting the gifted sub from Santa Boot. That's our ninth sub of the day. We are one away from our next sub goal. Uh, Bant Legends is uploading right now, but it's not up there yet. Nexus is not so bad when there's no Wilderness Reclamation out for you to use all that extra mana. Nexus is not so bad. Wilderness Reclamation, really bad. It's definitely good that our opponent has not drawn Reclamation. No. They found it. Hmm. Harness the elements. I'm going to go ahead and wreck Sage. Now, if they counter Rex Age, then they're just taking lethal. Do we have to attack there? So that's 5, 8, 11, 12, 13. All right, good. So we don't need to actually attack with Marwin. I mean, like, I could attack with Marwin, so if they bounce, like, one of the lands or the Marwin or something, we still stay alive, but they could just, if they have a bounce spell, they could just bounce the Steel Leaf, and... Alright, so, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 13. Means Crisis for 11. I could just do Crisis for 10 and leave one green mana, though, if we draw a land or elf. We didn't draw. That is a pretty major crisis. Ugh. Don't kill us yet. Let me canopy. Ugh. I, mean, I guess I could have done eight and seen if we drawn drew a canopy. But you know it's I don't think that's really the best play. <laughs> nice, just all glad you're feeling dapper that tie. Oh, come on. That's insane. Yeah, Ugin would work really well with Priest of Forgotten Gods. Yeah, makes makes the creature that you sacrifice that gets you another card. Priest gets you like the mana to get up towards Ugin. Yeah, those two work really well together.
mean, they can't... Can they whiff from here? I don't think so. They get three as Kanta activations. I mean, one more Nexus and I'm conceding. Oh yeah, we have a bunch of counter spells. I guess it's all the bunch of counter spells too. I guess doing the crisis for eight and leaving up. I guess I didn't have blue mana to leave up though. We destroyed it in Ascanta and then a Wilderness Reclamation. And then they just untapped him, just played another Ascanta and two other Reclamations. And we died. All right, let's do it. Time to ramp. Oh no, Storm, you think you're getting sick? No. I'll get this breeding pool in play here. Can I play Nissa and Uga next turn? One, two, three, four, five. Untap. No. I could have Nissa plus four mana. I could go like Nissa plus Rex Age, for example. I'm gonna wait to be able to untap the the forests for whenever I want the mana more. So when I need like on a turn that I want the mana more, I can you know tap it for two, untap it, be able to tap it for two again. Kind of thing.
Hey, there's our 10th sub of the day. Maskara Maskarovka. Welcome, Mask. And thank you very much, Santa Boot. There for the gifted sub. Get those hype boats in the chat for our new subscriber there. And for getting to our first sub goal of the day. Ooh. Ooh. Again. Ooh. Again. Hmm. So one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, this will hold you. This will hold you over till next month with the Twitch Prime. There you go. Thanks. Six seventy nine. No, my opponent doesn't have Rivers Rebuke in their deck. So now we have a counter spell for a reclamation. Next turn, we'll ultimate this Nissa and just get all the lands out of our deck. We'll just activate the incubation druid. We still have the man up for disdainful stroke anyway. Um. Well, let's just go to attacks. Assuming this is another root snare.
think I could have ultimated my Nissa first. Um, they could have also just bounced it during their turn. I don't. I could they that was their plan to bounce the Nissa. They could have just done it during their own turn. Yep, draw your cards. So only four mana left. Must be out of out of fog effects. And no wilderness reclamations, no escantas. That game. So that is our second win here with Elf Ramp. We are doing it. Elf Ramp, just you know, playing what do we play? Nissa on like Turn three that game. No, we play at turn four. Turn four Nissa and Yeah, just kinda Kinda just kept on making a bunch of creatures. Hey what's up, six one nine? Yep, always a good day whenever the Nexus deck explodes. Yeah, sometimes you draw the Wincon a bunch. Early on, like our opponent did game two, sometimes you don't. I think this has got to be a mulligan. This hand's just like really slow. We're basically just growth chamber guardian and then nothing else. Um, the deck that has as much ramp as we do, yeah, I like. I like this kind of hand a whole lot more. Um, let me ditch the Paradise Druid. Deco Knight, 29 months. That is so many months. Thank you, Deco Knight. I'm gonna see if I get 29 hype boats in the chat. That's a bunch. We'll see how many I got. And then Dezave with that resub here for the sixth month. Welcome back, Dezave. Twelfth sub of the day. I love it. All these people getting hype boats in the channel. Thanks, everybody. Alright, so we got four mana available. Not Nissa mana. At least not yet. <laughs> Alright, what do we got going on over here now? Nisa! <clears throat> Lame. We had a master plan. It didn't work out. Ow.
So the other option was like spend the incubation druid and these to get another clan caller. That was the other option, but I, just, I think I just want like all this mana with the incubation druid first. All right, so they can go grab a 5-5 Terramander. They can make Terramander a 5-5. Five five. Boom. That's a big old Incubation Druid. Oh, look at that little crackling drake. Look at that thing. It's smaller than my Paradise Druid. It's going to be smaller than my Land War off next turn. Attack. More clan callers. All right, up a game. Those tricky, tricky, tricky elves. Well, we got harpooners and canopies for a reason. Kill a bunch of flyers. So let's go ahead and bring those in to do just that. I'm going to get rid of the growth chamber guardians and a Nyssa... And a finale of Devastation. Usually Clan Callers wouldn't be that good in this matchup. They were really good there. Ugin's not too slow. That's, that's all our deck does. It ramps. Ugin's going to be good because Ugin, Ugin takes out, you know, Crackling Drake and stuff. I don't know if we'd even be that bad against Esper. We have five counter spells in the sideboard. Plus we have, like, the, uh, the six Planeswalkers with Ugin and Nyssa that are really, really great against Esper. Plus we have the Hydro Crisis that draw a whole lot of cards. Um, Melody, this could be an okay matchup for Melody. Um, basically I want it against, like, Sultai, like, green, green creature decks. Um, I'd play it against Mono Blue. Uh, maybe play it against Red. For Steamkin and Chain Whirler, get those things. Question is, do you think that a thousand year storm can be competitive and standard? And I think not really. Um, I think you have to be really defensive for thousand year storm. You're going to need like sweepers and things like that. Like you have to hold off the aggro decks and that's just really tough uh, to do to have like those that kind of deck that then also has thousand year storm in it that also has the card draw and velocity necessary to, you know, hit your land drops, find your thousand year storm after you have your thousand year storm, then continue on. I should play Paradise Druid here, by the way, because because like the hexproof thing. That's definitely Paradise Druid. Sorry, I was talking. Should have definitely played that. Anyway, um, you just can't have like all like all of those things in the deck. You've never seen anything like this. Maybe this will work out, though. Maybe we let them use the shock on the incubation druid, so now maybe Marwin will survive. Marwin surviving is certainly more important than anything else surviving. Marwin survived. Well, then.
Uh, Terramorphos, you have to have a stop on your end step. If you if you don't put your stop on your end step, you're not going to be able to use your trigger correctly. I think my opponent just has counter magic. It certainly seems like. I will learn from this. Question is: Celesnia tokens dead this set? I don't. I don't know. I haven't seen very much Lesnia tokens around, but I I wouldn't think it would be dead. Start attacking. They're definitely just wanting to play a ton of counter spells. So Krasis right now is X is 9. We draw a land, you know, then X is 10. Electromancer. Oh, I'm just going to do 9. We'll run him out of counters eventually. Electromancer means that, like, usually Electromancer means Phoenix, but we've already seen both Drakes and Terramander, which usually if you have both Drakes and Terramander, you're not going to have Phoenix also. So, it's, so I don't really know exactly what's going on over here. Oh, I don't know why I played those before Marwin. Whoops. Okay, well, that was a mistake. I just, I forgot about this Marwin. It was just caught up in all these Crowl Harpooners. I just forgot that we had that. So we got 13 mana. So let's do 10.
Finale of Devastation. That's what I'm talking about. Ugin? I'm an Ugin deck. You can't be an Ugin deck. I'm an Ugin deck. All right, so how do we want to kill the opponent? We have all of our creatures haste. Hmm. Should we do Nissa and then finale? Yeah, we're definitely going to cast Finale. Power surges through these lands. No, we didn't get to cast Finale. Ugh. Still haven't cast Finale. Uh, I like Simic Midrange more, Tyler. What's the finale target? Anything. Doesn't matter. All your creatures get plus 10, plus 10. Get whatever creature you want. Doesn't matter. You can go grab, like, Steel Leaf Champion. Or go grab an Elvish Clan Caller or something. Is this an Esper deck? Alright, so this is Esper. So this is the test that we kind of wanted to see. I'm going to uh, assume my opponent is not going to play a Kai's Wrath. Come on. All right, so it taps the one in the front. So make sure we need to act. So whenever we do incubation druid like that, we need to do one of the ones in the back. I know my responsibility. Growth Chamber Guardian is this not the card to bounce here. Might be a bad idea. You just let me know if you're up for round two. All 
All right, so growth chamber garden replace itself, even if there is a wrath, but it, uh, hopefully there's not. Dang. Don't love any of my options here. You know, playing Growth Chamber Guardian plus Steel Leaf Champion. Don't really love any of the options. Or is it Nissa or a Nugan? Like one of those cards. Okay. All right, now we can hopefully resolve this Nissa. We just have to double spell here. I think it's just likely our opponent had a counter spell, which they did. If I try a single spell. And I'm still playing the other Steel Leaf because if they just had another Mortify, I don't want them to just be able to Mortify and untap and have all their mana open. All right, Nissa. Together, we will prevail. Harness the elements. Time to start making some creatures. I've already played two Kaya's Wraths. Uh, so like, you know, probably only one left in the deck, but they could have two, so one or two left in the deck. The land will not forsake you. Thanks, Gatsby. Use two contempts now. Ugh. I can kill Anissa. Or 
more creatures. The land fights for us. Down to two. They would need a land drop to be able to Ugin plus Kaya's Wrath. Like if their plan is like Ugin to kill Nyssa. Well. Please don't have Ugin and Kaya's Wrath. I mean, obviously they have the Ugin. Please don't have Kaya's Wrath also. All right, that's good. Good sign, good sign. All right, we got game one. And now we get to bring in all these counter spells after sideboarding, which I guess that's about all we do. I don't know if I want Rex Sage. Maybe Canopy. Um. Yeah, I'll play Canopy instead of the two Finale of Devastations. Let's do that. Yeah, we could get Thiefed or Lyrud, or you know they have Ascanta. Let's have these. Uh, let's have these Canopies in here. Is two enough, or do I want a third Canopy? Nah, two's enough. Melody can only take creatures. Entrancing Melody does not steal Planeswalkers. Uh, mass Manipulation can take Planeswalkers, but I don't have that one in the deck because of how much blue mana it costs. Like our hand, quite a bit. I like our hand a little less. It's not disposable hero. Let's slow this down. I've got time. Hmm. This is just really bad for us if we get if we get Kaya's draft. No more games. It's definitely considering playing the Krasis for three. If it would have been four, I definitely would have done that. No, I am not making this up as I go. That was good. We drew the land. That was good. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. That's not a card you see very often. Do you want me to phase you out of time? That's a lot better here than Lyra Dombringer is. Protect you. 
I can crush and canopy. I would would have been able to crush and canopy a Lyra Dawnbringer. Yeah, Vona's pretty brutal. I mean, <clears throat> Vona is a butcher. Just a really good hand. They had turn two Thought Erasure, turn three Teferi, turn four Kai's Wrath, turn five Vona. Like <laughs> my hand was good, but it doesn't beat didn't beat that them being on the play with that kind of curve. And then turn six contempt into Thought Erasure. Very good. Play Melody. Phone is rough. Play the Entrancing Melody. It's kind of card that I I don't want to have in my opening hand. That hopefully we just. God. Not mulligan in the hand though, but it's just like something to have in my deck later if they are playing Thief of Sanity or Vona and stuff like that. It's just I, it's basically I just wanted that at like the bottom of my library kind of thing or. Something later, but yeah, Vivian's really good against control. Now we're just going to top deck Nissa, his friend, Steel Leaf Champion. Nissa's friend, Steel Leaf Champion. So they're shocking in here for Sinister Sabotage. So do I even cast Paradise Druid and let them Sinister Sabotage and Surveil one? I don't think so. Uh, I need Nissa or one of her friends. Go cast your thought razor. Oh, come on. Top deck white source back to back. Alright. Do again. Finally there's one of Nissa's friends. Get there, Ugin. Secrets manifest. Correct, T Dub. I did not put the I did not put the Slesnia Titans on Stream Decker. Uh, you can find the link to this it. This isn't a fight you can uh, win. If you know, go to the YouTube channel. I have the link to the person who wrote, yet. Uh, who made the deck and wrote an article about it. 
Thank you so much, Buck Chops. The two days ago with Bant Legends was because I put the deck up there two days ago whenever we were doing the sub battle challenge, but I didn't change it. It doesn't it doesn't update for whenever you play the decks. It only updates for whenever you whenever you post them. It doesn't even update when you edit. Like if you edit a deck, it doesn't say like from today. It's still like whenever the original day you posted. That's a real that's a definitely an annoying thing about Stream Decker. That's just how it is. Known for my excellent timing. Not so fast. So the negates no a really good draw. Break. So the sinister sabotage that we know that they have in their hand, we can still have our Ugin resolve through it. Hopefully, no thought erasures. Gosh, they have their own Ugin. Well, I guess I'm just countering that. So now our our Ugin. Just Oh no, it won't resolve because they still have the Sinister Sabotage mana up. Ugh. Dang it. Why does that need to untap two lands? Like, Why is that fair at all? Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> Thanks, Zydroth. Oh, what a surprise. You have Sinister Sabotage. Let's skip to the This game was definitely them top decking White Source, then top decking White Source after, you know, back to back White Sources for that Kai's Wrath. That was really rough for us. We're at the point of the game where we're just drawing one card a turn. They're drawing two cards a turn. I don't really see us winning anymore. We need to move quickly. Yeah, Krasis could help out. Krasis let us draw a bunch. Even if it gets counter, that's true. Yeah, we need to just draw Krasis's. We haven't seen one yet. We got four of them in the deck for a reason. Yeah, mono white, mono white angels after this. Get in the hype boats. Thanks for that support, Spanky. Alright, our elf ramp is 3-1. and one. Even though we got game 1 against Esper, lost games 2 and 3 after we put in all of our sideboard counter magic. Unfortunately there. Alright, I like what we got. Do you like the Orzhov mid-range deck from a few days ago? Yeah. Of everything from the four Seraph. Oh yeah, Seraph is is really good. That's not a That's a pretty good one to craft also. I guess that's not a bad one to craft. So I'm gonna play Druid here because of Chain Whirler. That's okay.
Hmm. I will protect the virtue of this world. See, I don't even think I make a land a 3 3. Maybe I do. The land shall conquer you. Unless they top deck a land here, they're not going to be able to skewer the forest. They're probably just going to play the runaway steamkin. All right, so two, four, six, eight, ten. Be wary of the ground you walk on. So we could could do finale of devastation. I think we can wait a turn on that though. We'll just do this for ten. And then next turn, finale devastation for ten. We'll make our crisis a twenty twenty. Uh, no, not the, no storm, I don't think so, but you can find, like, you can look up the most played cards in the format, um, and then kind of see, see those, like, for example, that's what MTG Goldfish says are the most played cards in the format according to their algorithm. Nature's true power. Oh man, I cannot. I can't actually finale devastation for ten anymore. We'll just play like a wall of four fours. That's good enough. Alright, get a bunch of blockers. See if this crisis can finish it off next turn. I did. I did get to reveal Druidic Vow to Kefnet. Did that one time. It was glorious. Yep, and it's up on the YouTube channel already. Yep, it is up there. So we got pretty fortunate there that game won. Alright, let's re replace our X spells. And, man, we have like a lot that we kind of need to replace here. This is, this is not a matchup that I really want to face. Maybe I just need to try to dodge Chain Whirler. Like Paradise Druid, Clan Caller, like these cards are awful against Chain Whirler. Marwin, same. We were really bad against Chain Whirler in particular. Maybe I just accept that I'm bad against Chain Whirler and just don't try to make my deck worse of like thinning it out with all these other things and just keep all these elves in and try to do my ramp thing and just hope that it beats my opponent again I 
Doesn't seem like I need all these Ugins. Ugin can kill Frenzy, though. The problem is four blue sources for mass manipulation can really be tough. Basically, you can't cast mass manipulation unless you have, like, Incubation Druid, uh, Evolved, or Adapted, sorry. Or, like, a couple breeding pools with a Nyssa, something like that. Four blue sources is really tough. And I, for that slot with the Melodies, I have them for aggro decks. It's like, I ha yeah, I have them to, uh, as a tool against aggro decks. And, you know, mass manipulation, not very good against aggro, costing six mana at the minimum also. At least that chain roller is not wrecking all my creatures. I don't know why I played that Hinchland Harbor. That was not good. I should have just played Forest. Because of the Nyssa. Seriously? They could have killed that last turn and attacked with the Lava Runner? And everything, and they just didn't? Wow. Surprising. And they had a, you know, when they played, they played Frenzy on turn four, but the rest of their hand was two drop creature, one drop creature, and burn spell. So I was, I was expecting their hand not to be as good whenever they slammed down the Frenzy on four. But, I mean, I don't, I don't hate that they slammed down Frenzy on four. I mean, Frenzy is just incredible. Yeah, we've been facing more red today because uh, of the results this weekend. <clears throat> well, I assume because of the results this weekend. But yeah, we've seen we've seen some more red today. Not like a a ton though. I think this is maybe like the fourth time we played against red in. 14 matches. Hey, KZ. All right, thanks, Gatsby.
All right, time to just start beating down with five power creatures. I think we got this one. We can't block either of these five power creatures. Got a lot of defense. That should be it. All right, we're four and one. All right, Elf Ball. Elf Ramp is working out. We are at the final boss. We defeated Mono Red. We defeated Nexus. We lost to Esper. And... We played like one, like out of our four wins, we played like one beginner deck, and then we also beat Nexus and Mono Red and something else. I don't remember what the other one was. It was another good one, though. Ooh, final boss time. This hand's not looking so good. <laughs> Turn one duress. Hey, Matthew, that Twitch Prime sub. Here for the final boss. All right, it's sub number 15 on the day. All right, so we got 24 lands in the deck. Oh, Grixis is always tough for the little elf deck that could. Alright Storm, take care. Have a good have a good night. Just keep working on it, Canthic. You know, just keep trying to learn and improve, and results will follow soon. Don't don't get too worried about them immediately. Whoa, Matthew's gifting out subs to the channel. So. Phylon, uh, Phylon Deldman, Nat Foyd, Isaac Johnson, Elendril, and Improb. All getting those subscribers. Hope you all enjoy your awesome emotes. That gets us to 10 subs on the, or uh, 20 subs on the day, hitting our next goal. Yeah, you got me. Uh, I'm going to get a clan caller out of my deck. I don't really want to draw a clan, clan caller. I'm going to get that out of my deck. That's not a good draw. Ah, I said I would sub wins on Sunday with no notice. Need to wait for today. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, Matthew. Through 
So with those two sub goals today, I think that gets us to our next sub battle screen. I am pretty sure. Let's go check. Let's go to the info panel. Yeah, we've we had hit 18 sub goals before. Now we're at now we're at 20. So we have another sub battle day coming up shortly. Ooh, wow, we're getting that sub luck. Thanks, Jay Gomez, also for calling that crisis there. Be wary of All right, so two, four, six, eight, ten, fourteen. So that's X is 12. I'm gonna do X is 12. I hope they flow to green mana. I hope. Can I not count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, it'd be X is 10. Never mind, I can't count. Load of green mana, please. Ugh. Well. Alright, didn't matter. Doing with this transformed bolus? Just killing the crisis? My power is boundless. Are we gonna finally be able to cast this finale of devastation? I should probably not auto tap it. That's nine, ten, twelve. All right, X is ten. All right, we finally got to do the finale of Devastation once. And against Grixis, that Nissa top deck was clutch. And then the next card, Hydro Crisis top deck, was also clutch. And then finale of Devastation. That was just perfect. That went absolutely perfect. Let's get the Clan Callers out. Harpooners in. A melody. Do I want melody or canopy to get rid of bolus and thief. We'll go canopy. I don't think we're gonna play negates or just. Dis well, disdainful stroke's good. Maybe I mean, I should play disdainful stroke. Nah. I'm just gonna have Harpooner Canopy. Let's do it. <laughs> hey, Nerd Rage. Yes, you could grab a creature from the graveyard, too, yeah. Ooh, turn two Steel Leaf Champion. <laughs> no, I don't have any of the new Ronas for the combo with. I mean. Casting Finale Devastation for 10, the game just ends. It, you don't need anything special for it. No, you can only grab one creature with Finale. It it just says you can 
you can either grab from your graveyard or from your library. Not you don't get one of each. Oh no, hostage taker. Why why play that card? That card's mean. Oh, I should play this Marwin last turn. Hostage taker. It's very rude. Just kill every single thing I have. Why so rude? I'm just trying to play a bunch of cool elves. That's all I'm trying to do over here. Some of them are elf knights. Some of them are elf crab warriors. Some of them are elf druids. No reason to kill all of them. I was definitely hoping to top deck the land, of course, for the Ugin. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my water. Perish! I know more than you could learn in a thousand lifetimes. Another time, Planeswalker. It's really close to killing us, thus being at four. But I'm assuming the hostage shaker is going to kill the Ugin here. I shall withdraw from this petty squabbling. And not going to keep the land in hand in case of a bolus that made me that would make me discard it anyway. And you never know if that will come in handy. With like a a crisis or something, they kept that card on top really quickly, which is bad. Yep, that was bad. Kept that card on top real quickly. All right, going to another game. All 
All right, I'm going to play Melodies. Cause I, hot to check. I'm going to play Melodies instead of Canopy, and I'm going to play the Disdainful Stroke here also. All right, game three, final boss. Here it is. That carnage against us, though, is real rough of discard. Discard both our Kral Harpooners. I need more mana. Come on. Still have removal from a Paradise Druid on turn two. Yeah, our ramp deck needs more mana. Ugh. Or more cards we can't cast. One of the two. That's game. I am Death's master. We can't beat Nicol Bolas. From here. Return. Witness a moat of my power. Come on, draw land. They have Carni Carnival too? Come on. Uh. Yeah, we're just dead. Like, if they didn't have Carnival, we could have, you know, fought this thing and killed it. And then, and played our Growth Chamber Guardian here with drawing that land. And then the Marwin would be a 2 2, and the Marwin would be able to finish off the Nicol Bolas. Just awesome, awesome hand. When Grixis works, he does some crazy things. Monster Shaker was real mean against us both those games. All right, so we ended up going four and two. I'll update this scorecard over here. Still not so bad. Not so bad. Yeah. It's like first try at the, the elf ramp deck. We won like every single one of our game ones, I think. I think. Pretty sure we won every single game one. I know we did in the, both the matches we lost, we won game one. Um, yeah, I think we won game one every single time. So that was, that was pretty cool. Uh, finale Devastation, we got to do that the very last game there. Got to Finale, Ugh, and I just clicked on it, so it went away. There we go. So that was a lot of fun. Ugin was pretty good for us, um, but it, it felt like we could use even some more Planeswalkers, like, you know, like some Vivians also. Uh, maybe that's maybe that's something we want to do. Um, I could see turning... I mean, Krasis is just so good, but maybe we just turn this into more mono... Mono green Krasis, just you know, just splash for Krasis with like breeding pool and hinterland harbor kind of thing, and then just just get rid of all these counter spells in the sideboard maybe, and have like more planeswalkers like the Vivians and stuff like that against control. It would make us a little worse against Nexus not having the counter magic, 
Uh, but we didn't really draw any of the counter magic. I guess we drew one one piece of counter magic, but never used it against Nexus. But yeah, maybe <clears throat> maybe that's the thing to do. Uh, which Vivian? Yes, both of them. Three CMC, five CMC. They're both great. Um, maybe move away from. Clan caller and get Vivian's in here. Or just have the Vivian's in the sideboard. Like I was saying, for just control matchups, have the Vivian's in the sideboard, keep Clan Caller in the main. Either way there. You no, you do not want to end race four runners. Uh yeah, no hide Ferox could be kind of good. Uh you don't want a, a card like no hide or uh, end race four runners it's just like really good to finale and stuff like the finales already wins the game whenever you play it that big um all right so that's uh that's elf ramp there so if you're watching this video later on on youtube i uh, hope you enjoyed it uh it's good uh first spot here for some elf decks you know try it out uh try out some different stuff let me know how it goes if, if you like playing your own elf things uh but yeah there we go uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.